trigonometry. Trigon stands for three-sided polygon. In other words, a triangle. And metry is to measure. Trigonometry explains the relationship between angles and their corresponding opposite sides. Today we're going to look at how to name a triangle and what the two most famous ratios for a triangle are. Okay, so the angles are uppercase, the sides are lowercase. So now that we've discussed the naming convention for a triangle, let's talk about the two most famous ratios for triangles. First one is one, two, three. So now one to two to three. Now this looks like the smallest one, this looks slightly bigger, and this looks like the biggest. So I'll call this one x, this one 2x, and this one 3x. So we know that since each triangle has an angle sum of 180 degrees, x plus 2x plus 3x, and we know there are these because of this ratio, must be equal to 180. So that means 6x must be equal to 180 degrees, and that makes x 30 degrees, which means that 2x is 60 degrees, and 3x is 90 degrees. And this 90 degrees is very special. We call these right angles. So this is what we call a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And as for the side lengths, well, the ones, the sides opposite to the lowest angles are the smallest. So, for example, B is opposite to 30 degrees, which is the smallest angle. So, B is the smallest. So, I'll just keep it named B. Now, A is slightly bigger because it is opposite to the angle 60 degrees, which is slightly bigger than 30 degrees. So, in the case of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, a is equal to exactly b times the square root of 3. And then c is the biggest because it is opposite to the biggest angle, 90 degrees, which makes it a total of 2b, or twice b's length. So multiply the first number by x, that gives you 1x. Multiply the second number by x, that gives you 1x. Multiply the third number by x, that gives you 2x. If I add these up, it should give me 180 degrees. Now I just add these up. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4. So 4x is equal to 180. Now to solve for x, I just divide both sides by 4, which gives me 45 degrees. What does that mean? That means that this 1 corresponds to 45 degrees. And this one corresponds to 45 degrees. And this 2 corresponds to 2 times 45 degrees, which is 90 degrees. Now let's put these angles into our right triangle. So, of course, the 90 degree angle goes right here. And then the two 45 degree angles, they're right here. Now, those are the ratios between the angles of this right triangle. What are the ratios between the sides? Well, for a 45-45 degree right triangle, it's very simple. Since you have two angles that are the same, the two sides are also going to be the same. And then you just use Pythagorean theorem to find out that if this is x and this is x, then the hypotenuse is just x root 2. 